We've just listened to this amazing story. Um, it was about the, um, oh God, I forgot the name of the vessel. It was an Australian vessel that sunk in the 1970s off Tasmania, east, uh, west coast. And it set the benchmark for maritime. It was one of those things that set the benchmark for maritime safety. And the names just escaped me. It will appear on the bottom of the screen. Um, I'm not sure, Greta, can you please do that? Um, and one of the things that was noted when they released the life raft to their horror when they pulled the cord nothing happened now this is how much painter this is how much of the painter was in the actual life raft bucket in the actual container before it engaged right so if i'm doing this and i'm pulling out this is how much i have to pull out of the actual life raft before it gets to the point where you actually chop yeah, so when you drop the life raft in the water in a panic, don't just go yank and go, oh, it's not working. There is this much line in there, in most cases, before you actually get to the end, right? Before you get to that point where the pool. So in this account of this fella who was um, rescued, uh, the 10 of them got off the ship and uh, four of them perished. But um, in his count of when they did it, they said they jumped on the ship and they yanked it and nothing happened. And it was only after pulling on it again and again and again that it went off, okay? So, um, yeah, and a lot of things from that exact disaster set the benchmark for maritime safety in Australian waters thereafter.